Greetings all, Deeks here with another All About Truvis for you, number 15, we've made it to 15. Uh, I still haven't got 15 subscribers, but we'll carry on nonetheless. Some of you are obviously enjoying it, so I'm going to keep going for the time being. Um, I'm not going to claim that 11 subscribers is famous by any means, but it's uh, it's nice to be part of a small community. Um, with regards to community, if you're not a member of the UK Callaway Truvis Collectors page, make sure you join us uh, to learn more things about Truvis. And if you are not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. Uh, I really like to, like to know who's watching. And if you've got any comments or future requests on an All About Truvis, I'd love to hear from you. So today I'm going to cover three things. First of all, I'll show you the five balls that I've received this week. Uh, bad news is there were four more on the way that have not yet arrived, but the good news is means that I can show them next week and hopefully I should have some more on the way. Uh, Chris, I'm looking at you um, and Patrick, maybe if um, we can get things sorted, we might get some on the way from you as well. So without further ado, let me go through the five that I've obtained this week. First one was actually I bought two weeks ago, but didn't get it sent because they had more for sale. But this is the broken, the old course at Broken Sounds, which is this one here, which is literally just, I think it's just their, just their logo on a blue background. Now, you may have seen me put pictures of this on the UK Callaway Truvis page. Uh, previously, it had a whole lot of red Sharpie. Um, around the 78 and I've managed to get the Sharpie off for the most part but I've taken a bit of the number 78 away which is quite frustrating um, but I think most of you agreed with me that it was better to have the 78 not perfect rather than this massive bit of Sharpie there. Now a lot of people since then have asked me how am I getting the Sharpie off? I'm just going to take a drink. Cheers Friday evening. So what I've done is I've got one of my old golf balls. Uh, Nike used to play Nike golf, uh, moved to Callaway. No, I'm using Callaway, but not Truvis. I will no longer hit a Truvis because every time I hit a Truvis, it goes left, it goes right, it goes four foot in front of me. I literally can't deassociate Truvis with collecting them. So I'm not going to play with Truvis again. But as you can see, I've put a Sharpie mark on this ball here. And I have got some nail polish remover i've got a cotton pad and all i'm going to do is i'm going to take the cotton pad i'm going to put the nail polish remover on like so and then i'm literally going to rub it across where the sharp is oh god that went straight away that came off straight away <laughs> um now for the majority that's literally all off now Give it a bit of a rub. Yeah, that's all gone now. So you can no longer see that X. I'm hoping you could see that to start with and you, you believe me. I mean, the blue Sharpie is there. Now, it is not always successful. Um, for instance, if you're using a fake Sharpie, usually a lot easier to get off. Uh, if you have a real Sharpie that has been on for a long time, you'll find that there will be some sort of discoloration. All the nail polish remover in the world is not going to clear that. Um, but it's a really good way if you've got a ball and it's got some Sharpie on, give it a try. As you can see with my number 78, if you are rubbing on a part which is printed before Sharpie, just be a little bit more careful with it. But if, for instance, a lot of people like to do it on the Chrome Soft, um, you give that a rub because you're never going to see that on the money shot if you're displaying those. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd cover that off with you today. Uh, second was I bought at the same time, and this is uh, Vieira East, uh, number 94. Again, it's their logo on a green background. This one is quite discolored, uh, but I don't care in this instance because this is the first one I've ever seen. Um, a lot of you contact me um, asking me about how much is it? What, how much is this worth? You know, so you know you're getting a fair price. And I base that on a lot of different things. So I base it on how many have I seen? If I've seen them, what price did they go for? I, I'm on eBay constantly just checking how much balls are on sale for, how much have they sold previously for? 
So let me give you a few examples of what I do. So the first one is I always put Truvers in. I always search from lowest to highest to see what's out there. Now, there are a couple of things that you can do to help expand your eBay search. Now, the first one is before you even start clicking on eBay, go to www.ebay.com because then you'll have the American market. And what you want to do when you're on ebay.com, you'll instantly notice everything's in dollars. So, you know, you're in the right place. And then when you have the options, you can actually choose shipping to. Now, in shipping to, if you put USA and a five digit zip code, it will automatically think that that is where you are. And you will be able to see many, many more golf balls on ebay.com because they will, for the majority of them, won't have international shipping. So you'll be able to see a much greater amount of eBay, eBay uh, balls on eBay. Uh, now, obviously, with shipping charges, etc., you may not want to buy from the US. However, if you're looking at a few balls and you just want to get an idea of what the price is, etc., you've got more balls to search that way. And it's also a good way of um, determining roughly how much people are paying for them. Second one is on the filter of eBay, once you've whittled it down to a US zip code, if you click on the filter, you can actually click on sold items or auctions ended. And then you can get a good idea of how much things have been co uh, costing people recently. So, for instance, uh, I'll, I'll bring up the red teddy a lot because it is one that I've come across recently. Before the beginning of the year, I had never seen any red teddies. They were only available in Japan. I knew a couple of people that have had them, but they obviously went into reprint in the US towards the end of last year, obviously, to ship out to Japan. And all of the ones that didn't make the boxes that ended up in the bin in the end go to the Callaway collectors that buy on bulk. And they've slowly wormed their way into the market. Now, it's not flooded. You know, there's probably only 40, 50, 60 extra balls out there. But for us, the value of that has just rocketed them down. So before I would have probably paid between 15 and 20 pounds for a red teddy. Uh, but now there are so many in the market. I'm only looking, you know, I probably wouldn't charge between seven and nine for them simply because there are more out there. So next time you're on eBay, think about the different ways that you can search. Try ebay.com and not .co.uk and try changing where it's being delivered to because you'll see a wider range of ball and then finally take a look at the sold items and the auction ended because you will get an idea of what's been sold over the last few months years etc now Vieira East is a ball that I've never seen before so I was actually quite happy to get it um, slightly roached as I like to call it or this one's just slightly discolored there's no nicks there's no marks it's just not pearly white uh, but I'm very pleased to have it simply because it's the first one I've seen. Uh, next one. Uh, I bought two of these. Uh, this is Fields, uh, Folds of Honour, which is an institution in the US. You've got the rolled up American flag there. And this one's got the number one, but I also got one with the 20 on. I bought two, uh, mainly because Dan in uh, New York wants one. So I got one for him and then I thought I'd get one for myself as well. Um, but me and Dan have got a really good relationship at the moment because instead of buying and selling, we're literally just batching up as many balls as we can get that the other person hasn't got. And then we just do one big trade off. Now, that works good in so many ways. So, for instance, we only have to do one postage each. Um, we can both get hold of balls that we may find quite common. Uh, that others may find really difficult. So, for instance, I just bought a couple of sleeves of Garforth uh, golf course from Darren and I used the six in there to put one in for Darren. I think I've, I have sold one to Chris. I'm going to send that off on the pan mule, pan mule balls, come, I promise. Um, so I got one for Dan and then I thought I'd get one for me. A really nice ball. Uh, the next one is a bit of a strange choice for me and I will explain it. Uh, it is uh, Yaz Lynx from Abu Dhabi. Now, usually this ball wouldn't really excite me very much. But first of all, unlike the majority of balls, and there's only one that I've seen, it doesn't have a number on. So you'll notice that above the Callaway, it usually has one to 1974, but this doesn't have any. 
But the reason why I bought this is I recently bought uh, an auction on eBay, which had some Callaway bags. But one of the items in it was a Yaslings Abu Dhabi leather plush score card holder. And when I saw that, I thought, I've got to have it. But it is only one of two. The only other ball that I've seen without a number is there's 1757. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look at what club it is. But they've got 1757 in all of the pence in blue, but they don't have a number on some of them. Um, so Yaz Links from Abu Dhabi. Now, the last one is a big one. I spent a lot more than I should have on this one. And any of you guys that know me know that I've been rooting for this for a long time and this is the Toyota forklifts with the hashtag number one now I've wanted this for a long time I've only seen I've seen two recently uh, one was Siegfried's uh, in the US and then um, Scott from Premier Lake Balls also had one for sale I think it may still be on eBay um, but then this one came up on an individual auction is and i went into this auction thinking there is no way i'm losing this so i've been saving up money for so long and i managed to get it uh, so i'm absolutely delighted it's one of my favorite balls um a really big fan of the brand balls so currently i'm looking for a uh, honda ball i know the hondas are out there uh ford i'm looking for a ford ball uh, one that I'm really looking for, and I've never seen, and I bet you, if anyone's got it, Ian's got it, and it's the Mercedes. I've never seen a real one. I've seen picture mock-ups of one, and I've seen them on Callaway Truvis adverts, but I'm still not certain Mercedes exists. If it does, take a picture, put it in the comments. Love to see it, and I'll give you £5 for it. It's going to be worth so much more than that. Don't take five pounds from me. But this one was just one example of a ball that I really wanted. And uh, I managed to secure for a competitive price. Uh, there were loads on sale over the last couple of weeks. It's been really nice because we've really got a nice community going where uh, some of the guys really wanted one. And I backed out and there was some the other way. Um, but we're really... Um, really get not seeing a nice influx of balls at the moment because more people are buying more people are trading there's more out there so i'm hoping that i get some more subscribers i get more of you to talk to um but also it whole, i'm hoping that it will increase my um collection because i'm nearing 350 or is it 450 one of the two it's it's an insane amount and i know there are a few guys on here uh that you know are probably flirting with divorce because they're collecting so many i'm certainly one of them especially when it comes to the stage where i actually display them and this thing is going to take up a whole wall but you know i could be doing drugs you know i could be sleeping with hookers but no i'm collecting truvis and so are you so that's me i'm done uh i wanted to talk to you today about ebay done that wanted to talk to you about how to remove the pen of the devil i call it the pen of the devil because it really ruins these um i've talked about that and i've shown you the five balls that i've got so thank you so much for watching any comments or any requests put them down in the um in the comments after you subscribed um but apart from that have an amazing weekend golf is on the horizon guys 29th of march for the majority of us when lockdown will end I can't wait to get back on the course, but the only way I'm going to get back on the course is if I stop buying these. Anyway, take care. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.